We got Raymond Long writes, love the show. I was curious if you all believe if the Sony slash Marvel deal is a su success, could that pave the way for Sony to license other Marvel characters with a profit split between the companies? Like a She-Hulk or Moon Knight movie made by Sony. That way more Marvel properties could get to the big screen faster and Sony would have access to other characters for solo movies or put into a Spider-Man movie. Keep up the great work on Phase 3. What you will never, ever, 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 ever see again is Marvel giving away one of their characters. Yeah. They have lived with the smell of regret and shame for the past many number of years and banging their heads against the wall. Why did we give away the X-Men? Why did we give away Spider-Man? And just really this whole thing about how can we position ourselves to get them back? I mean, they needed to at the time. I'm not saying they should have. They had to at the time. But I don't think Marvel ever wants to be in that position again. Now, that's not to say that you know different types of agreements can be made uh moving forward but what i don't think we're ever going to see is a wholesale here we are giving you the license to this character by because who knows if you know I, I don't know what's a character they have right now like hawkeye okay maybe we don't have big plans for hawkeye right now but who knows five years from now hawkeye could become an insanely popular character and then marvel's hitting their heads against the wall again mm -hmm. so look we know in this deal that we could see marvel characters popping up in spider-man I mean, that's going to happen because that's a part of their deal. But the whole, you know, warehouse deal of we are giving you the license to this character that we're not happen to be using right now, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Do you see it any differently? No, I think that you're absolutely right. That what you're going to see is if, like, for example, like She Hulk or something, would be interesting if you saw her pop up. It, it, in a, in a Spider-Man film or something along the lines to where you tie it first together. Let's say Spider-Man has more of an impact in leading up to the next, uh, not this Avengers, but the next Avengers movie. Right. Through the, those movies leading up, he meets characters in the MCU, and then they say, well, that really worked with the audience. Let's put him and She-Hulk in a movie together. That's actually yeah. a great example. She-Hulk's a great example. But, but you know what I mean? Just like the fact that they're working now together, you could see that because of this existing deal. But yet, no, they're not going to say, yeah, Black Widow, we're kind of done with her. You guys can have her. That's not going to happen. The reason they sold the company in the first, uh, sold those things in the first place was like you said, they, they needed to. They were desperate at the time, and it worked out in the long run, though. Yeah, Mod? Uh, this kind of arrangement, Sony um, Sony is the only company that really benefits. Marvel doesn't get anything out of it, I don't think, really. It's almost just like a, hey, you're in a bit of a hole right now. Let's lift you out of it. Um, Sony's had the opportunity to use other characters, I feel, and they haven't really done it. They just had that one trick with Spider-Man. Uh, they even had uh, the rights and the direction that Spider-Man's going is that in the comics, it's Gwen Stacy who's Spider-Woman. Spider and so it's like this whole new world where there is no Spider-Man. She carries the flag and it's, she's the main character. Would Sony ever use a female led movie and like with the example of She-Hulk I don't think Sony would touch that because Aunt it's May. too much of a, a <laughs> risk <laughs> there it is we can do it. Um, so yeah will we see more of this I don't think so I think Sony needs to completely restructure their direct um, direction and realize that Marvel has comics and that they should just back away and let it happen see now I would be excited for because for instance let's stick on you brought up a great example of She-Hulk right I don't think anytime soon we're going to see a She-Hulk movie from Marvel Studios. Nope. So as a fan, I would really love it if Universal Studios and Marvel had a meeting and say, hey, look, you got no plans for She-Hulk. Give us a perpetual license. If we don't shoot a film every three years, then you then the, like the same deals they've had with many of their other characters. I, as a fan, would love it. I just don't think Marvel's going to back themselves in the corner again. Well, look, in, in, with She-Hulk, they're having. They're still hesitant to give Hulk his own movie. Yeah, yeah. Because Hulk is <laughs> yeah. not hasn't have his own movie. He's been in the Avengers, and he's going to be a big force. But well, yeah, he's, he's had two. Of he's his had own his movies. own movies, not and... since the MC really exploded. He had that one movie with Ed Norton Ed that Norton. did, which, which is it, part of it, the it canon. is part of the MCU. And but, but since it really, it was like the second movie out of the MCU, and it didn't, and it, it was still coming off of that stink of the Ang Lee. I think that they put a standalone Hulk movie out now, it would pun intended crush because <laughs> it I don't think that they really I think that they're hesitant because of that because the Ed Norton one did okay it did yeah. okay and the Ang Lee one oh, stunk flopped. so if you put out a you Hulk you didn't like movie? the Hulk dogs what really <laughs> no, I'm an electric I man I'm be, uh, I'm yeah, I'm glad I had. Uh, so you know I, I would like to see a Hulk stand alone first and maybe he pops up in Spider-Man is Sony the one to do it though no there it is yeah, they couldn't go to any other studio. That's hey, everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook 
and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.